Hiya, darlings! This is Hello Live English Advent's Devilish Diva, the one and only Narissa Ravencroft. Hello, hello, hello! Mortis. Mortis is the day. It's the name of the, the game. It's not, but... Uh, <laughs> we can pretend, right? That's okay. We're allowed to do that. Um... Thank you very much to Omni, Deln, and Chicken for the five gifted memberships each to the community. Thank you, Neo Matrix, as well for the Supa right off the bat. Ugh, sorry. There's cat hair in my mouth. It just like it just got in there though. It wasn't there before. Hate when that happens. Ugh. I am the sleepiest. Per usual. No surprise. Also, hello VOD watchers who are watching this later after the stream. Hello. Chat, say hi to VOD watchers, please. Um, today, we are playing Faith, the Unholy Trinity. We're actually starting with the first game, and we're only going to do that today. Even if we beat it super duper quick, we are basically going through... Um, and just we're just going to do the first game. Uh, I want to preface by saying I've actually never played Faith before. I know of it. I, I've seen, like, partial playthroughs. Um, but I don't know how to play. <laughs> so I just want to preface. If I'm very bad, that's why. Um, so yes. Uh, please keep that in mind as we go into this. Um, before we get started, I'll talk to you guys a bit um, about my day yesterday since I took a day off. Oh god, I don't remember. Um, I went to the store with my sister and I bought some groceries. And then uh, I came home, I cooked, I made a panini. I, I wanted a panini, so I made one. And then I went on a walk. I took my dog, I put her leash on, and uh, me and the pretty lady went on a long walk. <laughs> and then I bought a ton of multivitamins because I realized I haven't taken any in a while. So... I was treating myself for realsies. For realsies, for realsies. YouTube is also being weird and it won't let me go back and look at things very well. So if I miss uh, supas today, go mena, sorry. Jibrilia, thank you very much for the sufa. Never mind me, thank you very much for the sufa. Uh, Boomshot Sniper, thank you very much for the sufa. I can finally slide into one of your streams. I'm happy to have you here. Dead Zed, thank you very much for the sufa. Uh, and Shield Wolf, thank you for flashing your one month membership. But yes. Um, <laughs> so it's, it, hopefully, some of you, it's also your first experience with this game. Um, yes, I use YouTube for Supas. Razorexy, Rezo, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships to the community. I think it's Razor Exe. Go, go men. <laughs> I can't read. Uh. Yes, I'm excited. We'll just click begin. Um, I actually don't know how to play. So, but let's say hello to my mouse. Um, back, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So, I presume these are all the different parts of it. Never mind me. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Ace871, I miss the rest of the numbers. Thank you very much for the supa. So, obviously, uh, we're starting on chapter one. Eru, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. Uh, Lodum Novus. I like how these are all, um, you know, like, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say Greek, and then I was like, no, not Greek. It's freaking Latin. Flashlight mode, lantern mode, what's the difference? I can't do any of them. All right. All right. So, we are a man in a car. Ah. Do, do, do. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay. Let me... No intro. Yeah, I, I guess not. Let me turn the game up a bit. I'm not sure how loud it gets. <laughs> I'm not sure how loud it gets, but um, we'll explore a bit. Can I go this way? 
I can. How far can I go? I want to see my limitations of the map. Hmm. Do, do, do. I missed I missed an intro. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, there's no limit, so I can just keep going this way forever. Oh yeah, it literally just does loop, huh? <laughs> oh, a deer. Oh, I scared it. doesn't look the same. Am I crazy? Probably. Another deer. Probably the same one. Hey, stop running. Naruto Kid, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships to the community. A well. I can't interact with it. But I tried. That's what matters. Can I run? No. I can't move any faster than this. Oh. I can hold up my little plus sign. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> oh, a house. Okay. Alright. I guess it's locked. Do you not have a key? What's his name? Please tell me what this guy's name is. I forgot how to do the thing. I'm dead. Mortis. Mortis. How do I save? How do I save the game? I don't think I... How do I save the game? <laughs> um... No saves? Do I have to always restart at the, like, beginning? Beginning. Okay. I just need to remember how to use my... What the heck? Oh my god. Get out of here. I say going that way. <laughs> Terrifying. Why is that thing already here? Get out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, where is the key? Oh? Excuse me? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at uh, 1,338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. What do you mean I can just, like, destroy things? <laughs> Go straight past the well. So straight up? Eh? Because, I mean, we've already found the house. The issue is... I need a key for the house. Eh? Okay. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Yesterday, they came with me to their with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was pre a pretty gruesome sight. And this is just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Oh. 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 Oops. Get mortised. 
get Mortis to Nerissa. Do I have to go do all those things again? <laughs> Probably. Can I... CJ, thank you for the pinky! Do, 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 do. Okay. Eh? Oh no, I skipped it. Can I... Just... Can I check that? This note is missing. Today, I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. What? Huh? The clinic. Uh. Is there something over here? <gasps> oh my god! Okay, yeah, I need to get better at my reaction speed. Uh, there's little children! Another note, let's go. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connection to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system, Wednesday, 8 p.m. A little spooky, a little spooky, I see. I understand. Ooh, a house. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that in is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alfred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alfred, is it all red? I can't read. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the rite that may seem harsh to the, uh, to the layperson. Ooh. Ooh. We got the key. Out. No. Me too, bro. I can't even blame him. But it looks like we did get a save from that, which is very nice. Oh, I see. Thank you guys for explaining what light person means. Ooh. Getting trapped by a tree. I come in peace, please. Don't run. No. We've already read this. We just need it for my collection. I forget where the other one was. Suffer. Me too. I think it was the well, which I think is this way. Same. <laughs> Same, bro. Um. Stay away from me! Damn. Okay. I've already been here. There's another deer. This thing's relentless! I really don't remember. 
where it is. The thing that... Eh? Okay. Let's get back to the car. Where do we turn to get to the... The thing. We're not doing all three games tonight. We're just doing the first one. And the rest of the week we'll be going through the other ones. Oh. Ooh. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office, and representatives of the church er, and a representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation. In return for their discretion, you will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. To Rome. I want to go to Rome. Okay, here we go. This is what I needed. We've already read this, so we don't need to read it again. I'm lost, though. I don't really remember how to get to the house, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll find our way there, right? Surely. Yes. Okay. Okay. And we gotta save. Enter the house once again. I got a thing. What does it mean again? Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Oh, it got really quiet. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate how quiet it got. How cute. Cute little family picture. Guys, why is it so quiet? I'm scared. I'm really scared. Okay. Is it muted? No, it's not muted. I'm so for real. It's just after I interacted with that, it made everything... Die? And I'm not sure why. Where did the sound go? Yes, yeah, he still sound. I don't feel safe in my own, own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Sus, sus. Sussy wussy. Don't be scared, jailbirds. There's nothing to be afraid of. I am right here. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have black, uh, book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Oh. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like I first, uh, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other is instance spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. 
So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Yeah, the lack of music makes me uncomfortable too. Oh. Can we... I just need to check. I know they're just colorful because they're toys, but this must be the twins' room. We're not going there yet. I don't want to. I'm scared. I'm a little bit of a baby. Ugh. Oh, another bedroom. Oh, I don't like that. Stay away from me, weird shadow thing. Ugh. I really don't like that. Send help, jailbirds. Um, where is the music? Oh. Oh, all right. All right. I see. All right. Okay. It's not spooky at all. I'm just fine. Spooky basement. All right. <laughs> Dios mio. Okay, we can't sneak through the cracks here. Duck mode, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. Oh, I don't like this. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen on a, or as a missionary. The area we were working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San, uh, San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some fig figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God would have made him feel or wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work, but see you in four months. Leighton. Can I get rid of the water? No. I know the answer is no, but I don't care. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of that fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. It was physic or I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Shit. I'm about to get my ass kicked, aren't I? Oh, fuck. What's happening? Ooh. She is here. Tell me something I don't know, bro. How did we end up here? We were just in the basement.
Do I have to go back in the basement? Or can I just go... Get out of here! <laughs> okay! All right. Mortis. Yeah, I miss the sound. I miss the pretty classical music. Not whatever this is. Um, this is making me cry. Okay, okay, cool. I see, I see. I see, I see. Yeah, Nerissa Mortiscroft. That's my name now. Um. Get out of here, Amy. I am not interested. Guys, what do I do? It kicked me out of the basement. I really don't want to go back in the basement because it feels really dangerous down here. Oh, but here's something new. I'm pretty sure. No. Okay. Got her. What do I do? Well, I can't go upstairs because I need a key. I think. I think I need a key. Maybe the mirror? I don't want to go back to the mirror. Oh, the toy is gone. Okay. She was on my ass. I could see her coming. Ah! She got me. Mortis. Mortis. Okay. I like having my cursor on the screen, guys. <laughs> she, is here. she is here. Oh, there's a doll again. That was the same doll that was downstairs that disappeared. What does it mean? Because I thought I could just walk in the attic, but I can't. Which surprises me. Go to the attic. How? Gotta revisit the basement first. Okay. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. On my keyboard. Oops. Oops, I didn't see what one it was. Okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm so chill. Bow, 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 bow. Doll's back again. Guess who's back? Back again. Mortis back. Uh, tell a friend. Bow, bow. Why are we doing the bow, bow dance? Did I miss something? Ah! I heard a door open upstairs. Okay. It's good. Flying machine doesn't do anything. But now I'm really scared because she just appeared out of nowhere when I went over here. I don't like that. And now the sound stopped again. Uh -huh. Okay. 
I don't like how deafeningly quiet it is. Like, bro, this is so insane. I'm so small. I am small and defenseless. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. I'm not equipped for this. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior, eh? She blank, my superior, father blank with blank blank. When I confronted her, she blank blank managed to cut the power to the house and blank 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 her own parents blank 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 with their own blank blank blank. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her, but, uh... Uh, if I don't come back, I know that I love you and I'm sorry if I John. Who am I? What's my name? Who am I? I'm not John. Right? That's somebody else? Who am I? Who... Who am I? That's you? I wrote this? Why is it here? Why is it here? Doesn't make sense for this letter to be here. I am John Ward. Okay. I'm really scared. Oh, that's not great. That's not great at all. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Are you eating? She I put in a cough drop. The power compels you. What's that? What's that? What? Okay. Oh! She killed me. Mortis. Mortis. Oh, at least this is a safe point. That's nice. Where's her face? She got me! She's too fast! Do I need to Mortis. run from her? Or do I need to cross her? I have to avoid her? Okay, good to know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit, I forgot to dodge. <laughs> More this. Again. It's okay. Again. We go again. We ball. Okay. Push one. Run. We ball. We ball. We ball. Where's she coming from? Okay. We ball. Sorry, I keep saying that. <laughs> close, right? Oh, shit. Ah! Mortis. Mortis. Look. You guys expect me to be a good exorcist. I'm literally a demon. Why would I be good at that? I'm just questioning you guys. Why would I be good at exercising my own people's that- that sounds like something- that- that is not a skill they teach you in demon school. And that is not something we learn. Because that's not our job, you know? That is not- 
what you would expect me to be able to do. It's not really a skill in a demon skill set. You know, being able to exercise demons, that would be really weird. <laughs> that would be really weird, Jailbird. <laughs> really weird skill for a demon to have. So, of course, I'm not very good at uh, whatever's going on right now. Um, it's not in my skill set, you know? I'm not made to be good at this. In fact, if anything, I'm made to be the opposite of good at this. Yeah, we need One Risa. Oh my god! What do I do? Ah! What do I do? Wait! What do I do here? Eh? Do I go in the middle? Uh... And then I have to avoid her. Shit. Mortis. Mortis. <laughs> Finish what she started. I'm trying. Ah! Shit. <laughs> Mortis. She moves in patterns? Okay. High five her. Sounds good. Oops, I ran into that one. Mortis. Okay, it's fine. So. Okay, oops. Mm. Mortis. Avoid the red thing. Okay, but where do I hold up my thing to her? At what point do I do this. Because I feel like I'm not doing anything um, productive by just standing here, you know? Okay. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. So first we come- oops. <laughs> Sorry! First we need to get over here. And then- oh, I almost died. I died. <laughs> Oopsie! Okay, we try- we- we keep trying. We don't give up. Okay. She's gonna be this side. Oh no, she's gonna be down here. I need to run though. Ah, she's gonna kick my ass! Shit. I was too close. How many times do I have to hit her? I'm not sure. Okay. One m few more times. I mean, until we get it, really. We're going to be doing it. <laughs> I understand dies immediately. That's that's my thing. That's my thing, Doc. <laughs> it's just who I am as, like, a person, you know? Like, I'm just really good at dying. I'm really, really... I'm really, really good at it. Never give up. Ever. Keep fighting. <laughs> uh. I don't- I'm not sure. This is kind of hard. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind. I can't. Ugh. Okay. We just gotta take it slow. Take it at my pace. 
which is very slow. And that's okay. What? I was hugging the wall. Mm. Shit. <laughs> I need to remember I can't go that way. The the quickest way there is the quickest way to die. Oops, she's going to come down here. She's going to kick my ass. Hey, Amy. Ah! It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so encouraging. I'm so good at this game. I'm amazing. Can I just stand here and do it? That would be optimal. I'm just not going to move. I was so scared. <laughs> I'm not close enough to do anything. Shit. Uh, I was right where she was going to spawn, but I chose the wrong way to move. Hey, hey, be nice. It's my first time. It's my first time. Come on, come on, jailbirds. Don't be mean to me. What if it was your first time at a game? Hmm? Wouldn't you feel bad if it was your first time and people were immediately saying you weren't ready for it, huh? I just don't know what I mean. <laughs> this is just kind of hard. <laughs> you can't say clown or clockwise to me. That doesn't make any sense. I should be able to just camp and do it here. Like this should this should count. Damn. Ronan the Crusader, thank you very much for the pinky and for the encouragement. I appreciate it. <laughs> ah! I feel like what's confusing me is the way that the weird little things she shoots that come out. It's it's not it's not clicking for me how to avoid it because I feel like if I go down here for like one of the runs like it didn't even remotely get close to hitting me but then other times it gets like it's huge other uh, other times it's got a huge range give me one sec I need to make sure my manager I need to check if my manager isn't DMing me. <laughs> I got some notifications. Uno momento. Okay. It's not. It's all good. I'm Gucci. Gucci gang. Okay. Again. it's a, I know it's a growing spiral. But I'm saying it feels like where it lands is different. Every time. Shit, man. Uh! I want to start not on this side. Like she's got a huge range that she is traveling. And I just didn't do anything. <laughs> just right then. <laughs> They need to give me the ability to run, because I'm a coward. Shit. Huge freaking circle, man. Eh? Eh? Okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'll take it. Okay, now it's restarting? Okay. I see. So if I just avoid her for all of these, it's actually better than trying to hurt her. 
Yes. This is a correct assessment. Correct? <laughs> Shit, this is not the right place to be. Neither is this. Ugh. Go on. Okay, wait. Uh, let's go. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I'll just stay here for the time being. It makes it easier. Okay, and she's gonna go up, and then she's going to come where I am. Let's... Wait. Bro. We got her? Okay. Okay, yeah, that's- that's the strat. I'm sorry. I took way too much <laughs> time on something that wasn't actually that hard, because I was trying to do it the hard way. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. That's so silly. That's actually really funny. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand. Sometimes it's your first time playing a game, and you just need to find out silly things like that. And that's okay. Eh? Down the stairs. Kill her? Kill who? Is there anything else in this house for me? Oh, the creepy thing in the mirror is gone. That's nice. Okay, wait. Um, so when you exit the house, take the gun and head back to the car to get the good ending? There's multiple endings! There's multiple- but there's multiple games! What if I look at my notes? Do any of them change? Like, the pictures? Like, I'm surprised this one stayed- I thought, like, maybe they'd become, like, distorted. Eh? Resume. Resume. There's a canon ending for chapter two? Okay, but it doesn't- it- I I'm wondering how it affects- Okay, so just go straight back to the car? And leave? There's several endings, but only one canon ending? Okay. This chapter doesn't affect other chapters. Naruhone. Naruhodone. Okay. We leave. Go back to the mirror. Why? We'll go back to the car first, because it seems like there's multiple endings. How do I leave? Oh! Ah! <laughs> do I need to kill that thing? Okay, wait, why are you guys telling me to shoot the mirror? I kind of want to see. Won't I die then when I go back to the car? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Leave that. I I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, the gun's back. I can't. Uh. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Um.
Do it again. Never. Okay. What am I doing? Keep shooting the mirror. Okay. I see. Okay. We're gonna keep getting guns with one bullet, apparently. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm really, really good at this game, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. I'm really good at this game. Like, ridiculously. Give me the gun. Like, please don't make me have to click the same button to shoot the gun that I do have to, to clear the prompt. What the fu- Uh. Uh. Ah! Uh. What the- Guys! Secret boss time. I don't want to fight a secret boss. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna clear out. I'm not... <laughs> we'll come back for that one. So... I need to shoot the crazy thing on my way to the car. That's the boss. I just fought a boss. And as we have found out, I'm not very good at fighting bosses yeah maybe we can get a deer we'd be hunting hunters canning can an ending is kill the white thing okay you will need more bullets for what yeah nice And now we leave. I will say of my lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Okay. My god, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. Nice. Or the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the lord my refuge. Nice. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. Therefore will he deliver me. Okay. Nice. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Did the right thing. What other options were there? Ending 5 of 5 when faith endures. Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which uh, some residents are calling a Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hills Road by a um, mo motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the mo motorist discov that who discovered the remains had told them that they appeared to be that of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police uh, spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. Although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets? A vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Hey, new chapter mode unlocked. Let's go. Eh? Nice. Okay. 
Okay. Um, can I load from where I was? I can. So we can just load from here and get the, the rest of the... What are the other endings? I'm gonna do the mirror one last. That looked hard. That looked hard. Um, I know I didn't shoot the mirror, but... <laughs> deer ending. Okay, so I need to go kill a deer. Let's find a deer then. I wonder where a deer could be. There's not any on the straight path. But we are the hunter now. Do, do, do. No deer here. Oh dear. Eh. I'm not in danger. I am the danger, exactly. And that's the kind of energy we should all be having. I think this is the end on this side. No fauna, don't run from me, it's okay. I can shoot that thing, what thing? The tree? <laughs> Here's Johnny. Well, since we know where the red thing is, to avoid me having to look for it again, I'm gonna do that now. Now what? Do I just leave now? <laughs> I guess I just go. Huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh. 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 What? Ending three of five, the offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dream. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Who the hell's Gary? Doo-doo. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, the saplings came after me. I see. Okay, begin. Chapter one. Pergo. Okay, now we need to hunt the deer. Watch the intro later. <laughs> I don't know how to watch the intro, you guys. I don't know if it's occurred to you that I don't know what I'm doing. Do do. Wait, someone said that where the deer is. Um. A gun with a ball gun hidden in fauna. I'm so sorry. Hunt the girl in the forest. You need to find. I don't want to find the girl. I want to find the deer. Where's the deer? <laughs> uh huh. To the right. There we go. 
and now I just go home again per usual. Just walk. I just do something so awful and then I just leave. I can't believe it. Eh, this is not my car. I go too far this way. No. Goodbye, Fauna. Sorry, Queen. I will he is okay, same same ending. Same one. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Oh! The deer said, we don't like that. <laughs> oh! Oh! The deers really didn't like that. What the f- <laughs> Okay, wait, that was a little- that was kind of funny. Okay, the hunter. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found... Parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the opening scene you guys keep telling me I keep skipping. We'll watch it because I missed it at the beginning. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. Okay. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Okay. Faith, the unholy trinity. Begin chapter one, continue. Okay, now we need to find Amy. So the question I have is, where is she? Is she here in the house? Is she upstairs, downstairs? Is she... So there's the girl and the shadow guy. Yeah, but I only have one bullet. Um, I only have one bullet and two more endings, and I presume one of them is the mirror thing. <laughs> Amy jumped out of the window. She's in the woods. Okay. Back to the forest. Ugh. I don't remember that she jumped out of the window, you guys. The mirror's not an ending. What? Then what's the point? Eh? Wait. Eh? I wasn't far enough. Okay, well, we found her. Sorry, Amy. Nothing personal. Boop, 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 doo, 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 Back to my car where I'm heading home so I can do whatever I want. Gotta go back home after killing Amy. 
Because that's what I do. Because I'm John, I think was his name. I don't have any friends. <laughs> All my friends are dead. Something like that. I don't know what his story is. Just how what he's doing was not approved by the Vatican. Oops. Oh. Eh? Game over, murderer. Okay, wait. I'm confused. I'm very lost. I'm very- I'm very lost. Can someone please <laughs> explain to me what just happened? That- why am I going to jail? Please arrest man accused of murdering missing girl! What do you mean she was missing? She was totally possessed! What do you mean? Um... A New York man is in the custody after- or is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. Jean Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to the Sterling Police headquarters for further uh, questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the, uh, to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that the ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the art- What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, also, uh, Scary Walrus, thank you very much for the pinky earlier. And thank you for liking my Down by the River cover, I appreciate it, as well as, uh, that you liked, uh, Halloween night. Present day, 20XX, thank you for the super. Uh... Shoot, okay. Down, right, right, down is another ending. Okay. Down, right, right, down. I will not remember that, but I will try. <laughs> down, right, right, down. Okay, down, right, right, down. A gun with one bullet. Down. Right. Where? Where is it? Why is Amy in a mental institution? I'm worried about her. Did I just go left twice? But I thought I needed. I thought I needed to go to the house. Sorry, I was going left because I was looking for the little house, but I don't know where it is. <sighs> okay, down. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Please. Please down. It just repeated. Well, who was this that I just killed? Because clearly I'm delusional. Clearly I am delusional. Who did I just kill, man? Who? Father Garcia? Who? Who? It's the other priest? What do you mean? 
I don't believe it. I would never kill anybody. Ooh. Plus, why would he be here? Isn't he like dead? I will send a flower. It is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh! Uh! Uh! Father and son. All endings for chapter one achieved. Esteemed Cardinal G uh, Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. New chapter mode unlocked. Doo -doo. Why the Gary loves you? I'm scared of Gary. Where's the other twin? <laughs> Gary loves you. What notes am I missing? I'm missing notes. What on earth could I be missing? I got- I went everywhere. But I'm missing... Four notes. And that- I don't like that. The mirror boss. Okay. We'll try it. Gary's a normal human. I don't believe you. There's objects you failed to cast out, but I totally got everything. What do you mean? Exercise the tombstone. You can exercise the tombstones. Hold up. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Mm. He's a normal human. I are you guys sure? A gun with one bullet. Well, We'll find out what the hell Gary is by the end of the week. <laughs> Maybe if I'm far away, I can run. No, it won't let me run! I'm scared. Oof. Oof. Please. Please, sir. I'm a good man. I would never do anything bad. Okay. Finally defeat the secret boss of chapter one. October 23rd, 1986. Dear uh, Dr. McGlashan, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychi uh, Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my affliction and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martins family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomena, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that, since accepting the truth, my, na er, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not yet felt since the incident. 
Given my progress since the first, uh, since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institution, um, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell's in the future. John Ward. John Ward. It's me. He just, he lied. He straight up just lied. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property. As a historical cemetery, our office had had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones were written in a language that we cannot identify. I sent the gravestone rubbings to the, some of my peers at the University of Connecticut, and I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. What else am I missing? I know I, I've already got all the endings. I want to get the rest of the papers. I've got two. I've got two papers I don't have yet. Guys, where are the other papers? <laughs> Purify the dead tree. I think I already did that, but we'll go. We'll go look at it again. Did you get the pond? No. Okay. So I need to purify maybe the tree and the water. I'm pretty sure I did the well. Yes. Do, 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 do. Tree stump. You can get out of here, Mr. Deer. I'm not interested in you. Okay, purify the water. This water. Yes. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Hey. Where? Um. Where is the tree stump? Hail, thank you very much for your first ever supa. Oh, I don't need I don't need the gun. I need the last bit of paper. Where's the tree stump? In the forest. Where? <gasps> Hi. Last page is in the house. Wait, tell me where I missed it. I want to get everything. If there's only one item left, it spawns in the house after getting all the- Oh, okay. Are you guys saying that because I'm gonna die? Okay. In the attic. Have you exercised the thing? Oh, guys! Don't get me killed! This is a ceremony for opening the let no brother or sister utter it. Prepare the use the right index finger to draw the sign of of the blank on the floor. Bring an impure vessel to the signs of the blank. Let a brother or sister drink blank at each sign of the blank. Carve the face of the blank. The blood that kills fills the opening is a new blank. Let seven blank be taken from their mothers and lowered into the blank. Upon the offering of the seventh blank, the blank will emerge from the blank. This is the second death. Are you sure that was the right paper? I don't think that was the right paper. I feel like that would have been really wild to just find that in a tree stump. Why are you guys saying Gary loves you? I don't know a Gary. I don't think I like Gary. A message from Gary, what a nice guy. Yeah, but that blank really did go too far. 
Agreed, agreed. Oh, it only appears when I get all the other notes. Uh, Naruhone. Out of here. Little guy. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Okay. And my fortress. Okay. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. I can't skip it. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore, we so, I'm not a priest. I, shall call I lied about claiming I knew what happened there, or I accepted that what happened there wasn't real. And then I went back to kill Amy. Um... I don't understand. But yeah, I'm a really shitty exorcist. Definitely not my talent. <laughs> no, he's an actual priest, but the Vatican said he wasn't. Oh, the church lied. I see. Real priest, unapproved work. Nanohone. Okay. We don't need to read this again. We've already got this ending. New effect unlocked. Effect? Okay. Extras. Replay intro. Conjuration. What? Credits. Reverto. So we can go back to uh, chapter one. Which we should, yes, we have completed completely chapter one of faith, the unholy trinity. Isn't that beautiful? Well, chat has to tell me the Lord. You can. Chat, don't spoil it. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing everything. Like, we're literally, this whole week, we're just going to be playing through Faith, basically. <laughs> Marathon mode. Oh, no! I don't want to do that. It's an options. Effect display backgrounds. Oh, not one. Look at this cute little anime drawing. Look at this. That's so cute. I, you know, I would have preferred to play it this way. I didn't realize I could just play it with a bat. I don't want to, I don't really want a background. But, you know. What do you guys think? <laughs> the anime one's cool. It is pretty cool. I have to be real. This is a really cool background. We need some Ave Maria. Uh, I have bad news for you, my friends. I actually don't know Ave Maria. I know a little bit and that's it, but I never had to sing Ave Maria. Doo -doo. Okay, let's go head over to my uh, living room, shall we? Hi. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the game. Oh. Hi. Th these aren't supposed to be here, but, um... <laughs> Go ahead if you haven't checked out Advent's merch, uh, and, uh, Halloween Night Tonight, our cover, please, uh, go do that. Go Minasari. Didn't mean to leave that off or on. Uh, let me go ahead. Turn those off. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Your thoughts. Okay, so this this is I will be real, uh, jailbirds. 
this is the extent of what I know of faith. So I've, I've basically seen people play through chapter one, not necessarily recently, but I've, I've seen people play through chapter one. Everything past chapter one, I have basically no idea about. Like nothing, basically nothing. So uh, this, this wasn't necessarily 100% new to me just because I do know a little bit about faith, but um, I didn't watch Fauna play through. No, no. But uh, it was like a long time ago, but um, no, well, I guess not that long, but like long, it was long enough ago. <laughs> but so, um, this is a very interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember much. I, I, I like had like vague memories, but I didn't remember that there were five different endings. Zavario Zagreus, thank you very much for the supa. I knew you could do it. I was looking forward to your next uh, to your next stream. I'm gonna hop over to support Lady Shioni. <gasps> okay, goodbye. Wow, abandoning me for another another streamer. How could you? I see how it is. I see where your loyalties truly lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how could you? How could you, Jailbird? Or I guess, Novelite. <laughs> Mitchy, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships to the community. Pride, thank you very much for the super. <laughs> Mortis. <laughs> A sleeper Novelite. Just pretends to like me. <laughs> But yeah, um, I know I know some people are saying that like the first two games or whatever are pretty short and could be done in one stream, but um, I wanted to split them up just so I could do what I did today and get all the endings and then have time to chat with you guys at the end. Um, I actually still have stuff to do today. Not so surprisingly. Guratom Bass, thank you for the super. May Midokai, welcome to Jailbirds Ultra. Thank you for joining my membership. But yeah. So I I've uh it's not bad for a short yeah, it's not too bad. Dusty, thank you for the supa. What about you, Risa? Or Wub you? <gasps> thank you. And we major, thank you for the supa. I had faith he'd be able to finish it. I'm so glad. <laughs> well, no, uh so it's actually Forsaken Os, thank you for the supa. <laughs> I um I basically, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I, I couldn't take my voice lessons last week. I read my name wrong. Sorry. I can't read. Ethel, thank you very much for the pinky. Congratulations on making it through the first game of Faith. By the way, uh, it's my birthday. May I please politely request a happy birthday? Of course, Ethel. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And many more. Thank you for celebrating your birthday with me. I'm so happy. Running the Crusader, thank you very much for the super. Congrats on beating chapter one. Can't wait to see your experiences with, with two and three. The last one's gonna be quite a journey, but all of us jailbirds have faith in you. I'm so happy to hear it. <laughs> Cause maybe I don't have faith in myself. Lance, thank you for the Sufa since it's spooky month. Here's a spooky question. What's your favorite saw trap? I've never seen saw, so I can, I'm sorry, I have no answer. Taco Brat, thank you very much for the supa. I know I'm late to the party, but I finally listened to Down by the River. Your cover actually brought me to tears. Your voice is so angelic. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you guys, by the way, for all streaming Down by the River. I'm so happy that people seem to really like it. Uh, I had a lot of fun singing it because it was a song I was really, really passionate about. So, um, but I was unsure how everyone would like it because I know it's different from, I think, what a lot of people really like. Well, I mean, I really like it, but... <laughs> so, yeah. And th by the way, VOD watchers! Thank you for watching through to near the end of the stream. We're not quite done yet, but thank you for watching up to this point. Tikken, thank you very much for the 10 gift memberships to the community. Uh, Kibu Keppel, thank you very much for the uh, ten, f f 5... I can't read numbers. 5 gift memberships to the community. Are young, thank you for this super... I kept leaving Nama the river. My room to ask you, are you okay? Find a US address to buy the shirt. Eh? Buy what shirt? 
Oh, 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 yes. Gambate. I hope you can get a copy. A copy. I hope you can get the shirt. Salmon, welcome to Jailbirds Plus. Two powdered. Thank you very much for the supa. He admitted that it was pretty stellar. I'm glad that a non VTuber fan <laughs> liked my cover. Mamori Kusanagi, thank you very much for the supa. Hearing you sing happy birthday makes me happy. I love hearing your voice. Please continue being you so. <laughs> thank you. Metal Gear, Gundam Time Loss, thank you very much for joining Jailbirds Plus. Okay, what I was trying to say, um, now that people have stopped sending stuff, okay? Stop. Chill, chill for a minute. Um, so basically, I, I, I wasn't able to do my voice lesson last week, not because I didn't want to do it, but because uh, my voice teacher was uh, on vacation, so I hope she had a great time. But I have a lesson tomorrow, um, so, um, Therefore, I, you know, I, I'm doing my lesson again, but uh, because I knew it was like going to be a, like a whole like week, like extra, extra week between, I was like, oh, okay, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't practice as much as I should have. And granted, I'm a pretty quick learner and I've still been trying to implement the things from our lesson into like when I'm singing stuff anyway. So um, that was interesting um, this week. <laughs> And last week, but so I need I need to I need to run through my hour-long lesson and, and just go through it one time Before I see her tomorrow. So I'm not like hi. I didn't get to do it a lot <laughs> Take a break for stream. I've already taken too many breaks Eto, Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships to the community and uh, Ronan the Crusader, thank you for the supa. How could I almost forget your cover? Down to the river was beautiful. I have it set as my morning alarm so I can hear your beautiful voice every time I wake up. Thank you. We're not ending yet, by the way. We're not actually ending yet. I was just saying hello because the game plays over. And I know we're kind of on Zatsu part now. So, hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, um, I, I mean, obviously I'm still going to be streaming tomorrow, but... A yeah, secret post game Zatsu for jailbirds who are here watching it live and for jailbirds who are watching the VOD. Hee hee hee. I like Zatsu parts too, just because I like chatting. <laughs> um, just a broke college student, thank you for the supa. I'm doing okay. I'm always doing good. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> but yeah. I'm chillin', chillin' like a villain. But I'm not a villain, because I'm a very good girl, don't you agree? Please say yes. <laughs> Genos, thank you very much for the supa! The cover was good, it made me appreciate your singing way more. I hope you cover more melodic songs. Also, congrats on getting noticed- Yeah! The fact that he saw it! I was so happy! He was like, enchanting, and I was like, <laughs> my heart! <laughs> like I was spaghettiing all over the because you know like usually when you do a cover like you you're like you know it's fun but it's like oh yeah you know they're probably not going to see it or if they do they, they probably won't really care because people cover this stuff all the time so like it, it's not that it's like composers are composers are freaking amazing but they're also busy people and I was like this guy worked on Baldur's Gate I'm sure he has people like DMing and emailing him all the time and being like I love your music <laughs> So I was like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna notice my, my little cover. <laughs> but then he did, and he retweeted it. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so, uh, in honor of finishing that cover, um, regarding our, our play, our playthrough with, uh, Kalaipi Mori Senpai, Kiara Senpai, and Bijou, um, I don't know when we're going to pick that back up. I know we were going to try to do one more stream to kind of like quote unquote finish off some some parts of uh, chapter one, but we had already kind of decided that we weren't going to actually we're not going to finish the game just because like it's it's really hard since all of our time zones are too different um, to like play it all together. You know what I mean? However, uh, I really want to do a dirge run, and I actually started a good dirge run, but I was like, you know, I don't have time to play this right now, so instead I thought it would be fun to do an evil dirge run with all of you. Um, so, and, and just, I really want to play Baldur's Gate. I, I want to play Baldur's Gate again. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to be doing a solo game. Um, I am going to let you guys backseat me because I'm going to start on easy 
after I level a little bit and remember how to play, I might turn it up. But I have to be honest, um, I don't know... I don't know how to use a lot of the mechanics in the game. Like, for example, like, poison or, like, oils for, like, your, like, weapons. I don't know how the hell that works. <laughs> so, I might... Uh, no, no guarantees. Please don't be, like, a bad backseater, please. But I would be happy to have kind advice telling me, Hey, have you considered doing this? And maybe explaining what might be done um yeah please I, I i want a little bit of guidance so like i don't want anyone being like you suck at the game if you just did it like this because that's not helpful for me but if you're like oh uh it looks like you don't know how to dip the swords maybe you could do it this is how you do it and this is how you do it you know that kind of thing yeah with character building last time i just looked up a guide and uh used that to level up all my characters because i really don't know what's good <laughs> Um, hells ahoy! Thank you for the super. Here's my tenth super. I enjoyed Halloween night, and we'll play it uh, at the next party. Will Advent's next conquest be Osame Kino with the Ian Gang? I don't know, but thank you very much for the super. Maru Layu, thank you very much for the super. Thank you, uh, you for liking my clip on Twitter. It made my channel grow up, and I love your cover too. It's so good. <gasps> thank you. Always happy to see everyone making all the clips and stuff. It makes me so happy. Thank you for watching my content and liking it enough to clip it. Thank you. Don't thank me. I thank you. To Powder, thank you for the super. I legit would love to see more video game music covers in the future. If it's something you like, feels like an untapped market. I want to do some more. Because uh, now I'm thinking of games and I'm like, it would be fun to cover this song. <laughs> um, will you ever do uh, covers in another language besides English or Japanese? Um, you don't want that. So I could maybe fake German. But if anyone actually knows German, they would realize how bad that was. You know, like I can't fool Chiara, you know. <laughs> Italian, I cannot sing in. Um... I have the most experience foreign language that I don't speak speaking in German, but you know, I've never, I've, I've only had to sing one song in Spanish, but I'm not good at it. And I don't remember how to read Spanish well. Um, so just, yeah. <laughs> um, I think, ugh, what was it? No, 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 no. That one, I don't know. I don't know how it goes. That's a like that's uh, that's the um, what's it called? <laughs> it's the it's alto part because uh, a long time ago I thought I was an alto, but that's like if I looked it up, I would probably know it. Uh, maybe. Sing Despacito. I don't know Despacito. Can you sing the Halo menu theme? Thank you for the super. I don't know the Halo menu theme. Um, you don't want that. I would love to sing the Velvet Room theme. I fucking love the Velvet Room theme. <laughs> ah, Chris A, you recognize it. It's a Christmas song. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, long time ago, I thought I was an alto. Striver, hear you. Thank you for the super. <laughs> I love how every other day, without fail, there's someone on Twitter being like, how did Risa see this? I just, look, I just scroll, and I like the things you guys post, so when I see them, I like to like them. I hope it makes your guys' day a little bit. But I'm always looking. Are you a mezzo? No, I'm a soprano one. I'm a sop one, baby. I, I can sing very... I, I, you know, one thing, and th this isn't a dig at anyone, um, but, like, I, I noticed some people being like, oh, that note was so high that she hit down by the river, and I was like, eh? <laughs> no, nothing I sang was that high. I'm very surprised. Uh, uh, again, it was obviously to, like, um, a male singer that would be really high. But for me, as a soprano, I was like, oh, that's not very high. What do you mean? But I'm glad people were, you know, thought it, thought it was high. Maybe I don't need to sing super duper high. <laughs> you know? Wish you'd teach us what the difference is between... Between what? What What do you mean? The difference between what? 
Evie, thank you for the soup. Yesterday was my birthday, and if I may ask if it's possible to have a belated birthday, of course. Uh, first, real quick. Uh, oh my god, not doing the thing. RL, KFP Intel Department, thank you for the soup. Uh, Ryziel, thank you for the soup. Witcher, Witcher 3, uh, I didn't finish the Witcher 3, and I don't know that song. Okay, Evie. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and many more. Thank you! Sorry, I didn't stream on your birthday. <laughs> Delm, thank you very much for the super good job today. Faith is a great little game. It is, it's fun, and it's not too, too long. Your strength slash control was astounding. Yeah, I mean, um, one thing that's hard to do uh, when it comes to like performing wise is like when you're on a stage, you can do a lot of fancy stuff, but when you're behind a mic, it's great. You can still do all the same things, but the issue becomes, um, you guys know what compression is, right? You know what compression is? Compression is when you basically make all the vocals sound like they're the same loudness. So it smushes everything together. <laughs> so basically, if you can, you can sing something super duper piano and then sing something super duper fortissimo, but they will all sound the same because of compression. Um, so compression is great because it makes everything it levels the dynamics but it's also bad because it also gets rid of all the dynamics so it doesn't matter how many dynamics i sing with after there's compression there's no dynamics <laughs> so i noticed i noticed some people were like oh there was no dynamics in vampire and i'm like there were dynamics but it's just a it's it's needed to be compressed because it's a you know the, the type of song it is <laughs> So I felt I felt a little uh, bad. <laughs> DK Purple Wolf, thank you for the super. Do you ever feel complete euphoria when uh, creating music? Um, mm, it's a good question. Do I ever feel euphoric? Um, when a cover is done, when my music is done, and I really like it, then yes. But, um, I think, I think the best moment of making a cover is when it releases and everyone sees it and you get to have the immediate reaction to something you've been working hard on, you know? Um, that, that, that really gets me. <laughs> that really makes me happy seeing, seeing what everyone thinks and is like, oh, this cover, I like this and this about it. And I'm like, ah, oh, it was worth it. It was worth the hardship. Rolla Gabe, thank you very much for the super aloha from Hawaii. Thanks for the covers you put up and great work. Thank you for the next week tomorrow. Ah, uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Forsaken Oats, thank you for the super. This is my first investment to having Narissa cover the flame shadow from the game Ark Knights. One day I shall hear it and I shall... <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god, there was a cat in my room. I didn't even see little man. But he just got up and is now walking to the door. Here you go. You can leave. Get out. There we go. <laughs> oh. Eh? But yeah, I, uh, I'm doing a lot. And then later this week, too, I have some recording I need to do. So please uh, manifest for me. Please manifest for me. Please. I would appreciate that. Oh, but yeah, um, making covers is a lot of fun, and Down by the River, I, I like every single song I cover. If, if I had to talk about Aish Day, for example, that's like one of my favorite Vocaloid songs because I really, really, really love um, Kikuo Osama. Uh, I think their music is just incredible, and I've loved it for a long time, so it was such an honor to be able to cover that, as well as to write a translation for that. Um, that was crazy. That was really crazy um, to me. <laughs> So that made me really happy. And then Kami Poina. Uh, I really like Kami Poina because of what a difficult song it is to sing. Um, but yeah, so I was really happy when that came out. Um, I is 
one it was actually the first cover I recorded um for you guys um so I, I really I was really happy about it and of course then there's the other covers in between you know but like w when it comes to down by the river it's so nice to sing a song in English that's already done in English for you <laughs> that you don't have to write the lyrics for but it also helps that I'm like crazy in love with Baldur's Gate 3 so like oh yeah, it's just it's just great it's just great it's so wonderful I love it I love it I love it so much um Nightcrow Teo, thank you for the super dropping by to see you finish the first game. Congrats. This week has been stressful and busy for me, but I keep reminding myself to do it for you so that I can watch your streams again. Keep doing your best. I believe in you. Cypher66, thank you very much for the super love to the cover. Risa, I hope we can get you to cover flow from... Uh, I can't read that number. Is that 14? One day? Uh, thank you. 14. Sit. I don't know. I don't know how to read Roman numerals. I gotta be so honest. If you're typing FF names, please, please just put the number. Please don't put the, please, unless it's seven. I can read seven, but that's it. <laughs> Omni style. Thank you for the super. You know me. Thank you for the super. Ragnarok Masa. Thank you for the super. But yeah, uh, this is, this is a general, but I don't really take music requests. Uh, to be honest so uh, if you request anything i'm sorry it won't guarantee that i'll ever sing it on a karaoke or otherwise <laughs> is sorry tired thank you very much for the supa for the aka supa all the recordings and streams almost every day thanks for the hard work it doesn't go unnoticed i appreciate your support so much thank you yeah i i, I i'll be aware of it yeah that's true I, I like I like Final Fantasy music. I like Persona music. Top, thank you for the sofa. It was my birthday two days ago. I had a hard time finding something to buy my twin. Ever had trouble buying a gift for your siblings? Well, happy belated birthday first off. But, um, yes. Every every year I have problems buying stuff for my siblings. Because I've got so many of them. I've got three siblings. I've got a stupid little brother. I've got two older sisters. <laughs> And I've got to get presents for them all the time. And then they've got to get presents for me, so I'm sure they feel the same. So some some years we're just like, can we skip? Can we all just pick one sibling and get gifts for each other? I think I think my brother, he still gets mad at me. <laughs> Cause he got me a he got me a little good atama one Christmas. Like a, it was like a bowl, like two I think he just like got it at like a Barnes and Noble or something. Um and it, it, it was like two like ramen quote unquote bowls with like little Gudetama chopsticks. It was all Gudetama themed is the point. And I put it in my closet and then I decided to donate it. Because I was like, I will never use these. It's not that I didn't like them, but like I just will never use them. And he was so hurt. He's like, I got you those. And you didn't even get me anything for Christmas. And then you donated them. <laughs> Uh, but he ended up being like, well, if you don't want them, I'll take them. And I was like, okay, fine. And so now he uses them. So it was a win-win. He bought them for me because he wanted it. Win-win. <laughs> Night Crotea, thank you for the super speaking of Goddish. Have you heard the Pokemon in my heart? Pinocchio P's new song. It's so nostalgic. <gasps> I don't think I've heard it yet. I need to go give it a listen though. Thank you for the recommendation. I love Pinocchio P. I do the same thing with my sister. <laughs> Just buy something you want that you know they won't, so they'll get rid of it and you can take it. Eh, did I read it wrong? It's too late. No, I didn't. It's correct. If you're gonna donate it- I, I did! It was in my room for like, a long time. Like, a really- I, a really obnoxiously long time it was in my closet. Before I- like, it wasn't like the next day I donated it. Like, a long time passed. Day Chua, thank you for the super Lost in Thoughts All Alone. I do love Lost in Thoughts All Alone. Oh, like. <laughs> Just give them money. Yeah. I don't give people money. Not not because I mind giving people money. <laughs> but um for oh, I dropped my hairbrush. Why was I playing with it in the first place? That's the real question, Narissa. I don't see it on the ground. But I know it's there somewhere. It's lost to the ether of the floor. 
Uh, well, for me, I guess. I, if anything, I've got to be honest. When it when it comes to like presents, usually, if I want something, I'll just buy it. <laughs> So I never really have anything that like I like want, you know what I mean? Because I just buy something if I want it. I'm like, oh, I need a new shirt or oh, I want this shirt. Okay, I'll buy it. Like, I don't like really like unless something's really expensive, which in that case, I'm not going to ask for that from somebody else, you know, <laughs> like, so I'm like, well, everything that is affordable in the range of Christmas gifts, I already have. So you can give me money if you want, because it'll make it easier. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know why. I just, I also have a, an issue, like, giving people money because of the way that I was raised. <laughs> M Mama, Mama Risa is very much not that kind of person. She believes in, uh, the gift has to be meaningful. And if it is not meaningful, then you did not put any effort into it, and it's a bad gift. <laughs> So, um, if I don't buy, like, a gift, it doesn't matter if it's, like, a super nice or expensive gift, that's not what it is, but it's just a, if we're doing family Christmas, I need to get an actual gift or else I'm in trouble. <laughs> you know, it could be a rock, could be a, could be a pet rock, exactly. Yeah, exactly, I put money into earning the money, but... Appar apparently, that's not a good gift, and it doesn't count, apparently. But yeah... The issues of having a large family is you gotta buy presents for everybody. And like, I'm just not good at it. I'm not bad at making presents or like, finding presents, but like, it's just hard when there's so many people who all have different interests. But you know, even though I, I've never played D&D &D before, and I probably never will, because of Baldur's Gate now, and like, I've been watching so many D&D videos, I'm so tempted to just like, buy a dice set for myself. <laughs> Why am I like this? Please, someone explain to me what's wrong with me. What has happened to me? Imagine, imagine you've never played D&D. &D. You don't plan to play D&D. &D. And you're just like, hmm, I should buy this $60 set of die that I will never use. <laughs> I have a few dice that's gathering dust. Exact, yeah. What's wrong with having dice? You know, it could be fun. Could be a, a fun time. Um, one sec, let me just uh, set my thing to do not disturb. I'm getting, I am getting disturbed. Um, okay, nice. Nice, ooh. Oh. My kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniacs steal things. I don't steal things. I just like to collect things. But even then, I actually don't like to collect too much. Like, uh, a few times a year, I'll, like, go through all my stuff and just donate a ton of it. And, like, the issue is also I just don't, like, replace it. <laughs> so, I'm actually running out of things. Um, yeah. Uh... Ever want to play the older BG BG style games? Kind of. Um, wait, let me look it up real quick. So I actually had an interaction recently with uh, my uh, sister where I was talking to her and I was like, do you remember there was a game that we used to play? Um, I need to remember what it was called. Um, there was a game we used to play and have a vivid, oh, what the heck? Uh, I have a very vivid memory of this game that I used to play, okay? And, um, apparently it's Dungeon Siege, so I'll just say that before I forget the game name. But, um, basically, I was sitting there and wondering, because I could not figure out for the life of me what this freaking game was! <laughs> so, I, 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 I sit there and I'm thinking, okay, what do I remember? And I remember crawling through... I wasn't crawling. I, I don't remember much what the game looked like. I could have sworn it looked like the older BG3... Or B, BG games. Baldur's Gate games. Um, but, like, I was in a cave. And we ended up finding this girl 
who we could recruit, okay? And that's all I really remember, is we found a girl in a cave who we could recruit or leave behind um, in the cave. <laughs> it, it was, it, and I, I remembered it because at the, for a while, I feel like I remembered her name very vividly. I don't remember it anymore. Um, I haven't looked it up to confirm, but I remember I, I just, yeah, it doesn't narrow it down at all, okay? It's literally, yeah, a, it's, it's literally nothing. But so I ended up asking my sister, and I was like, Hey, do you remember? And she was just like, it's Dungeon Siege. It's Dungeon Siege. We played that game all the time. It was Dungeon Siege. <laughs> so apparently it's Dungeon Siege. So now I'm kind of curious. I don't know what one it would have been, though, because it was such a long time ago. Um, but yeah. So I've been thinking about that, remembering games from a long time ago. What does she playing like? The, eh? uh, from what you said, yeah, so basically, a Dungeon Siege was my dad's. So basically, my dad had a computer, and my dad's, uh, you know, he's a demon lord, but he's also a big gamer, you know? Uh, when I say gamer, I mean he likes to play, like, mech warrior games and Dungeon Siege, apparently. Um, and so... I, I remember growing up, he'd have, like, a lot of computer games. But as for, like, me and my siblings, they got us basically three Nintendo systems. Um, and then we'd have, like, maybe five, six games max for all of them. And that was throughout a long period of time. So, I remember we first got an N64. And again, we had, like, five or six games for it. And then uh, we played the hell out of all those games. <laughs> I didn't get to play them as much, but we played the hell out of the games that we did have. And then, um, I remember we got, uh, I think it, one of my sisters actually bought it, but we got the, the GameCube. And I never, we had Animal Crossing, but my sister would never, this is One Risa, she would never let me play it. She was like, this is my game, I bought it with my money, you cannot touch it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then my grandma gave me a DS, and then my sister stole it. And then um, I remember one Christmas when the Wii came out, that was like our big Christmas present was like my parents got the family a Wii for all of us to share. <laughs> so I remember fondly playing lots of Guitar Hero. We love Guitar Hero. But yeah, so I don't, I don't like that. That's why it's like first person shooters. No, I've never done any uh, when it comes to like really big RPG games. I never really did any. So I didn't I didn't really have big like experience with like a lot of stuff that I think people like these days. <laughs> Black Venom, thank you for the super. Yeah. That's why I'm not very good at a lot of games. <laughs> Cause like growing up, uh Mon Hunt, I never got to play Monster Hunter growing up, but now I've played it. Not even Xenoblade? Nope. Never played Xenoblade. Uh, never played Wizard 101. Never, never played a lot of stuff, honestly. I played Mario. I played Mario and a lot of Zelda. That's, that's mostly what I remember. And then there was, like... I don't remember. <laughs> Club Penguin? I loved Club Penguin! I begged my parents... One sec. I remember I begged and cried for my parents to buy me a membership for Club Penguin. It's just such a fun little game. I needed the puffles. I needed the colored puffles. <laughs> I just said I got to play Zelda. Zelda Zelda and Mario mostly are what I know. Gaia online. I wasn't I wasn't really on Gaia. I I don't think I ever used Gaia to be honest. But I heard about it. I know people talk about it, but I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Mines a 44. Thank you for the soup. Your family sounds like mine and me and my sister except for I was the younger brother. <gasps> oh my god. Nice. How, how about Neopets? I did play Neopets, but more so I played with the Neopets that like we got at the store. Like, um, we, we'd buy, we, we mostly went, I remember we went and we brought a ton of cash that we had made like selling lemonade or something. And we went to the McDonald's with all of our money. And we said, we don't want kids meals. We just want the Neopets toys. <laughs> so they gave us... A ton of Neopets, like, plushes that were coming in the kids' meals. That was fun. 
And so I think I think I mentioned this already on stream, but I'll talk about it again since I'm already talking about it. But so what we do is we'd set up we had like this blue blanket that kind of looked like water. So we put that on the floor and then we had like one of those like kid chairs, you know what I mean? And then we had this green blanket that looked kind of like grass. So we hung that up so it looked like a mountain. Um and then we'd play with the Neopets and pretend that we were in like a Neopet paradise. And, like, that was, like, literally the plot, like, this is a paradise for Neopets, but someone is trying to change that now. The Neopets have to fix it. <laughs> I remember doing that in my room a lot. I remember going on Pokemon Adventures, too, with my sister. I, I had an Eevee plush that I got from my grandma, and I kept, I kept it, I'd keep it on my shoulder, and I'd take her everywhere. I'd bring her to school. <laughs> Demon school. I really love Eevee. So, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because um, I kind of grew up, like, in the countryside, you could say. So there wasn't really much around. So I'd, I'd run around with my Eevee and pretend that I was on, like, this big, big adventure. This big Pokemon adventure. <laughs> Someone said Adventure Quest. I played the shit out of Adventure Quest. Um, I remember begging my dad for that one. I was like, please, it's the coolest game ever. Please, dad. I'll never ask you for anything again in my life if you buy me the membership. Because it was at that time when, like, you only had to make one payment ever of, like, 20-ish dollars or something. And then you had a lifetime membership. Like, you remember when they were running that? I, I did that. And my dad, he was very annoyed about it, but he caved to me because I was begging him so hard. And I was like, please, you never buy me anything, please. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember how much money it was, but... Lifetime membership, yo! For one payment, that was amazing. Yeah, dad can't resist my puppy dog eyes. I mean, I think you guys can tell, but I'm his favorite. <laughs> I don't think that's actually true, but I like to say it still. <laughs> Daddy loves me most because I'm just the cutest. I'm so cute. You know? <laughs> Are you a daddy's girl? Yes. I, I definitely, I love both of my parents. But growing up, I think I was very, I, I very much was, uh, because, you know, my dad's a demon lord. He's very busy. So I remember him being busy a lot. Um, so whenever he'd be around, I'd really want him to uh, play with me. <laughs> so I'd be like, dad, come on. You have to go on a walk with me. We have to go play Pokemon. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was a little dork. And he was also a nerd. And we both liked anime. So, like, I remember he'd have a friend come over and they'd watch anime together. And I'd be like, Dad, can I please watch the anime too? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm a bit annoying. I'm- I'm quite annoying. You're the youngest daughter, so that makes you the cutest- Exactly! I'm the cutest daughter. It's impossible for me not to be. I'm jealous. Jealous of what? My father? He's literally my dad. Now- now me and, uh, my whole family have a different relationship. It's- I'm actually anxious. I- my mom, uh, Mama Risa keeps asking. She's like, can I come on your stream? It would be so much fun. But I'm like, uh... <laughs> uh... The, the way that we talk to each other... Is... A... A bit sarcastic. So... If you don't know... Uh... Us... Beforehand... You might not... Understand... You know... Um... You might not understand our dynamic and you might think we're being really 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 mean to each other but it's like all loving and affection people who have siblings you might understand some of you but like you know basically like for context i'll give you an example my sister on uh my pink sister whom i love dearly came into my room today eating uh like one of those small like handheld like personal sized loaves of bread <laughs> And wearing, like, one of those, like, pirate shirts. So the ones that look like they're from, like, the 1800s. And, like, a skirt. And the shirt was very loose-fitting. So I looked at her and I was like, What are you, an 18,000s Victorian child who's lost and... St like, why are you eating bread? And she... <laughs> 
she was like wow why are you so angry today what's wrong with you and then we both flicked each other off as she walked out of the room um but it's all in love we don't actually hate each other we just sound like we're being very mean but like it's 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 affectionate you know <laughs> um <laughs> yeah it's banter it's classic sibling banter but um I also banter that way with my dad. My mom is the only one who doesn't do it because she doesn't get it. So she's always like, guys, stop being so mean to each other. You're being so mean. You're so mean. How could you say that? <laughs> and we're like, mom, we don't mean it. We're been joking because we love each other. We understand it's not serious. But um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's so cute. She is a sweetheart. She's just like, every time she sees me, she's like, hi, sweetie. How's it going? How are you? Do you want to look at what I'm doing here? Come here. Yeah, she's so cute. She's a cinnamon roll. She, she, you guys already know this, but she definitely does not approve of my potty mouth. She constantly is like, you need to stop. Stop the swearing. You shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> but... Contrary to that, she does on very rare occasions say swear words, so I will out her before she's here to defend herself. <laughs> but yeah, because of that, I think she's uh, a bit, not in a serious way, but embarrassed by me. That if I ever bring her on the stream, she's going to throw me under the bus and be like, I did not raise Nerissa to be this way. I did not raise her to be this way. I did not raise her to have that potty mouth. I did not raise her to be like this. <laughs> Every time, every time I bring a friend over, like I, I, I remember one of my best, my best demon friends from demon school. I brought her over for the first time and that's the first thing my mom did. And she's like, I'm so sorry that she is the way that she is. I did not raise her to be like that. And I was like, mom, I haven't even done anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. And, um, still one of my best friends, so clearly it- she didn't care, my friend, but... <laughs> yeah, she just shamed me for no reason! Yeah, mom, you're embarrassing me! Uh, I saw someone before say when I said I'm the cutest because I'm the youngest girl. Uh, they said by that logic my brother is cuter than me. Um, he is, because he's my little broder. My widow broder. Drum line, uh, line miss, thank you for the soup, but my family's the same. I lost my love earbud and the family group chat just flamed me. One brother sent me an eBay listing for one earbud. <laughs> I love that. It's so fun. But yeah, no, my brother, my brother is cute. We're, we're, we're like twins, except we, we don't actually look identical, but like, we look very similar. He looks like, I've already mentioned this, but he, he looks like a male version of me basically except like younger so uh i want to kick his ass every day because i'm like hey bitch why are you walking around like that you look just like me and i hate that <laughs> and he's like we don't look the same nourisha <laughs> and i'm like i will kill you <laughs> is my brother single yes but you can't have him he's already been promised to eofi senpai yeah but, uh, yeah, we- it, it's so funny because I mentioned this, but my brother has a dog, okay? He has a dog, and, um, I will- I will storm into my brother's room, fist flying, not intending to, like, actually, like, attack him or anything like that. But my dog doesn't even like when, like, anyone in the family hugs. If she sees anyone, like, hugging each other and going, oh, my dog will come over and go, <laughs> So I'll, I'll rush into my brother's room to spook him and the dog will immediately get off the bed and start barking at me. And he's like, ha ha, she hates you. <laughs> and then we'll try to get her to calm down, but then we'll rile her up. He'll come over and he'll give me a hug and I'll, we'll be like, oh, it's so nice to try and get her to realize that like we're not killing each other, but she will bark and jump up on us to be like, no hugging allowed. You heard it here first. Don't hug your brothers. Don't hug your sisters. Don't hug your father. Don't hug your mom. Your dog will hate it. My my dog literally can't stand it at all. <laughs> yeah, no hugs, only bow bow. Exactly. But she likes it if you hug her. If you give her like a hug, she gets so excited. 
she is jealous well i i joke about this but i'm like wow she's like not in a romantic way but like my my dog or my my brother's dog is like my brother's soulmate like they're like two peas in a pod like they, they adore each other he takes care of her he loves to like buy her stuff every time he goes to the store like he doesn't even think about like what he can buy for himself he's like what can i get the dog <laughs> he's like i'm going to get her this cute outfit so like every time there's halloween He'll get her like this really cute outfit and he'll buy her nice treats and like whenever he goes out to like his forge he'll always bring bring her outside so she can run around because she gets anxious she doesn't like to be outside alone but if he's outside with her then she loves to be outside so uh, basically every, and like he'll like take her on car rides or take her to the dog park and take her to like go get groomed and all that so like he he really loves the dog you know um so it's it's they've got a very cute relationship and due to that she is spoiled to hell and back exactly <laughs> you don't have a dog you have a furry niece i've mentioned this i think before but i i actually um i don't consider her my niece i like to jokingly call her my twin because uh we share the same birthday not year but like the same birthday <laughs> we were born on the same day of different years so i'm like my little twin but she hates me she hates me wait you call everyone your twin but this is my dog <laughs> it's different <laughs> my furry twin doggo debut win i could probably get her to bark you guys have heard her bark before she doesn't need to debut mm. you're her birthday gift she was actually um no she hates me <laughs> She doesn't actually hate me, but, um, I'm not her favorite. She has two favorites, and that's my brother and my grandma. Either of them, she's absolutely obsessed with. But, like, when it's me, if I'm there and no one else is, she'll come cuddle with me and be so cute. But the moment, the moment that grandma or my brother show up, suddenly she's running to them and she forgets I exist. Like you and Shadow? Shadow's right over there, by where my horn's kind of pointing to, kind of, not really. He's right up there. He is always with me. <laughs> uh, awesome, Chris420. Thank you very much for the Supa. I will. I buy her treats and stuff, too. She just doesn't know because I don't immediately present her with it when I get home. Like, look what I got you. You know. But yeah, technically she's the family dog, but I consider her to be the my brothers just because like if he if he ever moves out which god i hope he does <laughs> then uh yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah i'm not even second place with my dog so but you know my sister's cats love me so that's good that's good it's very good why don't i move you know, you're so smart, Jailbirds. I never thought about that. I never considered moving. Um, I actually came back because uh, I just got out of jail, you guys. And it's a little hard. It's a little hard to just, you know, have a house when you just got out of jail. I'm trying to... I need to build up to moving out, you guys. Can you be a little uh, considerate of my feelings? Can you be considerate, maybe? Hmm? <laughs> Have you considered maybe I had nowhere else to go? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to build up my demon credit. I need to build up my demon credit first. Just make a house. I, I, I did. Look behind you. This is my room. House fund. I wish. Shiori's basement. I am not moving into Shiori's basement. Sorry, Shiori. I love you. But that seems weird. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically a castle. Exactly. I have this big room. Why why should I move? I'm living the life. <gasps> Marie, thank you very much for the supa. Wouldn't your family house be the first place I'd look for an escapee? I think they've realized that I'm not a threat and they're just waiting to see. As long as I don't get my horn, the gods I don't think are going to come after me. So if we ever do that, we just need to be careful. Shian! Super chatto! Arigatou gozaimasu! 
Yeah, self-imposed house arrest. I, I'm not moving to Austria. As much as I love Kiata and I would love to live very close to Kiata, I, I, I don't know if I'd be able to move to Europe. <laughs> as fun as that would be. Just claim you are your brother. Eh, I don't think that would pass though because we look alike, but we don't look identical. Our faces are just similar. He's a very pretty boy. <laughs> Stupid pretty boy. Be shown in. And meanwhile, I'm over here being a very pretty girl. Typical. My whole family's pretty. I want to punch them all in the faces. Ugh. But yeah. I don't know where I'd want to live. I don't know where I want to go. I'm a bird, so I can go anywhere. But maybe it's time to migrate for the winter. Maybe. I don't think I do that, though. Because I'm not technically a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Live close to H-Mart. Yeah. Moving means no more Culver's. I mean, depending on where you move. There's Culver's literally everywhere. You can find Culver's in Texas. You can find Culver's in... Florida. You can find Culver's basically everywhere. So, I'll just stay in my castle. And just buy a Culver's and live there. You're so smart. And then it's like a, you know, another stream of income because then I'm running a Culver's business. But if I'm running a Culver's business, I don't think I'll have much time to stream. <laughs> Are you sure you want that? California is Culver's free. Well, who would ever want to live in California? <laughs> Sorry if you live in California, Jailbirds. It's a joke. It's a joke. Of course there's no Culver's in Canada. It's an American brand. Of course. Culver's are, ev are like in a lot of places. They're in a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I love California. I love you guys. It was a joke. It was a joke. It's a joke. I'm sorry. It was a joke. I promise. Um... I, I just, um, California is a fun place, but I, I have to make fun of every Californian I've ever met. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm sure not all of you are like this, but you guys have the perfect weather in California and I hate you for it. Um, because you have perfect weather all the time. And one time I was in a super dry like the driest place i had ever been like air quality there was no humidity literally zero humidity the no humidity at all i know there's humidity because my hair gets puffy okay my hair gets puffy when there's even remotely any amount any amount of humidity and a californian shows up and she's she goes oh my god it's just so humid here <laughs> i looked over and i was like what are you talking about there's no humidity. There's literally no humidity. There's not any moisture in this air. I have to keep reapplying moisturizer to my face because it is so dry. What do you mean? The humidity! And she's like, it's just so dry. It's it's so it is so humid. And I was like, no, it's not, it's dry. Yeah, skill issue for no, I don't have a skill issue. She had a skill issue. Right, you can't feel the weight of the- Yeah, like, it was just- It was crazy. It was crazy. So, yeah. Crazy stuff. Californians are so fragile. So, you know, so are- I, I went to- I went- I went to Disney one time. During the cold season. In hell. I, I went to Florida. I took a break from hell to go to Florida. And the weather- I never recovered. I never got thick skin again. My thick skin immediately was gone after I spent a week in Florida when it was like negative 30 degrees in hell. <laughs> hell had frozen over completely. And I was like, mm, it's 70 in Florida. And I was like, why do I live in hell again? <laughs> I could just leave. <laughs> I could just leave. I don't need to be in a cold place. Sorry, Dindy. I I like Dindy Whirl. But yeah, sorry. I'm just chatting now. I'm just having fun talking to you guys because I missed you yesterday. 
But I should stop stalling, I suppose. I need to go get on and do my voice lesson before it gets too late. Didn't he whirl? Ala, didn't he whirl so much? But yeah, you missed me too. I'm so happy. Thank you. Also, Umami, thank you for the supa. Have you settled in your life with Hololive or does everything still feel like you're on cloud nine? Um, hmm. I... I don't think I'll ever not feel... Um, crazy, like crazy that I'm here. <laughs> Like, it's so weird, honestly. It's so it's so surreal. It's so crazy. You guys know me. I was a big KFP. So, uh, obviously, I was always me. But I, I, you know, I envisioned myself as a little KFP. Because I... <laughs> KFP. But I liked everyone in Hololive. But, like, you know. So, I'm like... Now, it's I'm really, like... I, I'm the Holo... I feel like a, a Hololive fan who really, really made it. You know? I think, I think a lot of us in Advent feel that way. Especially... So, I feel like I'm living a dream. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to the Maldives with Kiara. It's not weird or anything. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, now you're the one with the fancy hat. It's so weird. Nori-san, can you turn off your horns? No, they're a permanent fixture on my head. They can't go anywhere. Yeah, my Oshi invited me on a vacation and regularly tells me she loves me. Like, what's going on? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm very lucky. I I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. Um. Omni, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. It's so endearing watching you stack all the wins. Since your debut, every cover and stream feels like a brick towards a bigger castle. Keep on doing your best. Love everything you're putting out. Thank you. Also, Sean Sh Churro, thank you very much for the Supa. But yes, I should I should stop stalling. I need to go do my voice lesson and then I have a few more things I need to finish off and then I can sleep eventually. <laughs> but uh I I should maybe pop a melatonin before I do my lesson, maybe. Yeah, in German we say a <laughs> But yeah, uh sorry, anyway, yeah. Um Thank you guys for wishing me good luck with my lesson. I hope you look forward to tomorrow's stream. Let me double check what we're doing. We are doing Jump Scare Mansion. Oh no, wait. I don't know if I can end. It should be fine. It should be fine as long as I don't click anything at this particular moment in time. But we'll see. I might I might not be able to end right away. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, tomorrow we're playing Jump Scare Mansion, I believe. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope we have a super awesome, wonderful time together. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you're all looking forward to Halloween. Please remember to post your Halloween costumes on Twitter to the hashtag that we advertised before that I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it's Advent Costume Party. I believe. Please, please, please. I want to see all of your Hollow Live themed costumes. I looked through the tag already and I really liked everything I saw. Thank you guys. I saw a jailbird and it made me so happy. Happy, happy. So, yes. Ha 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 ha. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, darlings. <laughs>